Lexus. All right, I'm gonna try to get some footage of this customer service at Lexus because it's just that good. Let's see. Hey, good man, how you doing? Great, great. You here to pick up? Yeah, just picking up my vehicle. Thank yeah. you guys so much. You're very welcome. Awesomeness. Yeah. You got everything you need on the wall? No, I, I got to get some stuff. stuff. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Uh, you yes. pulled it on the wrong side. Um, okay. I'm, I'm just going to pull it right here. Okay. Because uh, we don't want any cars coming up and running. Oh, yeah. no problem. Let me just grab my wallet out of here. Okay. Alrighty, and I'm back in my baby. Let's see. Sounds good as always. Let's see if the ride is any different. I don't know, I like my stream better too. I just miss her, oh my God. Oh my goodness, amazing. Alrighty, let's see how she runs. So we are off, man, oh man, she's already feeling amazing. Oh my God, this is, this is good. This is so good. Look, you can pay more, but you won't get more. Linda is back. Linda is back. So another thing that's an advantage with this <laughs> dealership is that they have the greatest scenery ever. Man, I want you guys just to take a look at the mountains over here. How can you not like that? Oh my goodness. Man, oh man, like I said, I, I just love my car, man. She is, I got the airbags done in the back. She does feel like she's a little tilted. Um, I got the transmission flush. I got the differentials uh, fluid changed. Got a new alternator. And of course she's running flawlessly. Of course, I got some other things to get done. Some suspension stuff that need, that's, you know, worn out over time. But I'm liking it and I'm loving it. And I am loving my baby. Like I said before, I think the GX470 is light years ahead of its time when they came out with it. And I think it holds its own with, you know, current models. Very few cars today have V8 engines and then also ride as well as this does over the time um, that is on the road. Like I said, I got 144,000 miles and like I said, it still holds its own. Like I said, I love her. I call her Linda. She's been amazing. She's helped me get across the country. Also towing a few cars, has never let me down. And recently when I got to Colorado Springs, I was taking to get washed and when I got onto the escalator that pulls the car forward, it sent all my um, suspension, you know, uh, computer stuff, uh, all my suspension lights, it, you know, light up like a Christmas tree. Anyways, um, so I kept disconnecting the battery, not securing it properly, caused the, the battery to, to die or... Um, I think that disconnecting of the battery and not securing it properly caused my alternator to ultimately die. Um, woke up one morning, battery light was on, had to try to make it to the Lexus dealership over 30 to 40 miles away from where I'm at. The car made it. Oh, it's like, uh, she freaking limped in here, almost didn't make it. <laughs> That's crazy. Called Lexus just before I got out there. They said, hey, Mr. Brown, We'll see you when you get here, and we'll also offer you a loaner. When I got there, they anticipated my arrival, gave me a loaner, gave me the best coffee in town, and I was off, all right? And you guys already seen the GX460, and, you know, today's topic of which makes the GX460 a better buy to me, okay? There is um, less mechanical issues with the GX460 uh, than it is with the 470. For one, you don't have to change the timing belt, and it has a sealed rear mirror, um, um, rear diff. So just less maintenance and it's not gonna nickel and dime you because it's newer. And you know, some of those things have already been addressed. All right, without further ado, we're gonna go over the things that I needed to get done. Of course, first thing I needed to get done was getting a new alternator. Now I'm looking at my alternator bill and you know, I realized I can go online and get an alternator for probably about $150 at AutoZone or even 
But going to Lexus, you know, and looking at the price that it's going to charge me, I was actually expecting the OEM brand new part. If you go into the dealer and you think you're going to get OEM brand new part, I don't work, I don't work in a dealer service, but I think that's absolutely BS. They're not giving you OEM parts per se. This says a remanufactured alternator. Is that a remanufactured Lexus alternator? I don't know. I just know it's remanufactured and I paid $1,400 for the service which seems like a lot, okay? But I needed a I needed a vehicle to get me back and forth, and this is my first time really owning a luxury vehicle like this, so I didn't want to take the chance of taking it to someone, and being that I'm in a new area, I don't have a rapport or know anybody who knows who is a good mechanic to do this, and I'm in the military, I'm an officer, and I have to travel 40 miles away from work, so I need it done right the first time. And if something happens, I need them to warranty their work. So that's pretty much what I paid for. Um, they gave me a car, a loaner for two days that generally cost about $350. That was a no charge to me, which is pretty awesome. I take it, the car was great. All right, moving along, a couple other things that they did for me. Of course, they cleaned the vehicle for me, which was pretty awesome. The other really expensive thing that I had to get done was getting the um, rear air bellows for suspension. So it's the airbags on the rear. I noticed after being here at my sister's for a while that the airbags were sagging in them, you know, and then every day it would have to pump itself back up. So had to get those. I went on and got those replaced. Um, I haven't checked around for the prices for those or looked at what they could go for. Um, and don't have any clue. This is the first time I ever owned a car with airbags and I generally stay away from cars with airbags, but I bought this car thinking, number one, that I would change out the suspension to an aftermarket one that would be more durable and replacing the airbags and going static, or I didn't know it was gonna be that expensive. But like I said, being in a new place, kind of a new platform, I just went with it. I didn't think they did me too bad. It was $1,600. Um, to get it done, each airbag was about five hundred dollars uh, a piece. I'm not sure what the cost on the market. I'll look it up in a second and I'll post it. And that whole job was uh, sixteen hundred dollars, which wasn't cheap. Wasn't cheap. All right. With that, I got a rear diff surface. Um, I got front diff service, and I also got the transmission fluid. Um, the transmission fluid uh, replace, which really helped out a situation that I had. Oh, it fixed it. Holy smokes. And I knew it would fix it. So generally when I was slam on brakes, all right, and then trying to hit the gas, the transmission would hit hard. That was $200. That was worth every penny. Oh. That wasn't good. I'm not sure any more kicks, how many kicks I would have had in that transmission if I continue that. And it seems that changing the transmission fluid fixed that, which could have been a four to $5,000 job by itself. All right, so I'm not saying those issues wouldn't have happened inside the other vehicle, um, uh, the GX460, but, and also theoretically, I could have got a little cheaper, all right? I think I could have cut the, the uh, alternator price down by $500 uh, and I'm unsure of the airbags. I think that would have been expensive either way. Like I said, I'm into the vehicle for $15,000. Now added $3,500. So I'm at $18,500 for a vehicle that runs very well and is ready to go. I still got about three more thousand dollars for services to do with the suspension, but I think I'm gonna try someone else because um, those parts are not I don't know, I just think suspension work, anybody can work on those. So I think I'm gonna try um, another another service department um, to work on those. I am satisfied. My bill actually was more like $4,000 when I looked at it. They gave me a discount, military discount. And like I said, it's down to $3,542.40. And I am, I'm in love. I love my car now. Um, I still not sure what I'm going to do. I looked at another Lexus ES today to solve my commuting problem because I don't want to use my CRX, um, to go back and forth like that. It already has some rust spots and I want to bring it up to its former glory and the HX system is a little 
tore up right now and I need something that's gonna actually have heat because I love heat and I hate the cold. So I'm thinking about another Lexus to add to the stable um, to do some of the hard work of transporting me from my sister to work and when it's very, when it's a lot of snow or if I wanna do some adventure stuff, I get up my GX470, I take Linda out and then she can always be that luxury vehicle delivering smiles, luxury smiles per gallon. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and tell me about your experiences with your GX470 or your GX460 and which one you prefer.